Hey, my name is James Nicholson. I hope you're well. Just currently in Bangkok and uh, going on a really interesting walk here. Uh, you walk down the train track and there's lots of people that live by the side. These people are the most kind people I've probably met in Bangkok. Everyone's smiling and happy. So it's really, really interesting walking up and down here just to see what it's like. Now, this video I want to talk about, why do some people fail in property investing? And I'll show you You're around a few bits. You can have a look behind me while uh, we talk about this. So before we jump into that, um, I want to help ask you to, to help me. So you, this channel has been growing incredibly well. Uh, we've got 3,000 subscribers now, which blows my mind. We're on a journey to 5,000. That's our next target that we've got in the team here. We're getting 50,000 views a month. We want to get that up to 100,000. So can you help us to get to those targets? Smash the subscribe button over there and hit the bell notification. And also give me a quick like on the video and comment with any questions you've got. So property investing is something that I've been doing since I was 18 years old. Bought my first property in 1999, a studio flat in Dorking in Surrey. Recently in COVID times, we converted that property into a one bedroom flat. We had a significant value and it didn't really cost very much. Now I've got a multi-million pound portfolio and what's interesting to me is not everybody does that. You see, I would always help my friends and family if they wanted to do it. But a lot of people just don't even get started in property because they think it's too risky, right? Now, what most investors do that don't succeed, that don't get stuff working for them that well, is they just don't get started or they don't get the education that they need to be successful in property. You see, what you need to do to be successful in property is just start going out there and finding deals. Now, I've owned businesses for a long time. I've also owned property for a long time. And I'll tell you the difference between business and property is property is the most forgiving business there is out there. You see, if you buy, buy a bad deal, which I don't recommend, but if you did buy a bad deal and something didn't go right with that deal, it always comes good with time. You see, maybe you bought a property for £50,000 and it was slightly overpriced. Lots of things went wrong with the roof. Maybe the kitchen broke, you got leaks and stuff like that in there. Well, that's okay because in a number of years, that property will go up in value regardless. Now, some areas will go up faster than others, but it will go up in value, which is really, really important, right? And so that's a really, really cool thing. Whereas in business, if I was to buy some sort of uh, advertising in a newspaper or yellow pages, something like that, and it doesn't work, then I just lose my money, right? Look at these guys having a little beer over there. Um, I just lose my money and it's gone forever. It will never come good. And 90% of businesses fail, right? Whereas with property, what a lot of people struggle to get their head around is that if you just jump in, you get a deal, you're worried because the interest rates are going to go up, you're worried because the house prices are going to crash. It doesn't matter. Even if you do something wrong, eventually it comes good. And that's the wonderful thing that you get with property that you don't get with any other type of business, guys. And so that's what stops most people is the fear of failing. Most people fail in property because of mindset, because they just don't take the action, they don't commit, they don't go out there, they don't find deals, they've got all these excuses about why it's not gonna work. And you know what? If you say your property investing isn't gonna work, you're right, it's not. It's not gonna work for you, and you should do something else. But maybe there is a way. Maybe there is a way that you can buy property, you can find deals below market value, and you can do really, really well. You see, Look through the comments on this channel in the last month. So many people are saying, I'm just gonna wait until the market crashes, right? I'm just gonna wait until the market crashes. So they're leaving their money in the bank. The inflation's eroding that money by 10% a year, which isn't good. And they're not earning any earned income from rent. So is that a smart thing to do? Now, the market may well crash, I did a video yesterday about how prices have already, oh, nearly went over there, 
how prices have already started to drop. We've had two consecutive months where house prices have dropped. But imagine if you found a deal today, it's stacked up, you could get a mortgage, you could get it with 25% deposit, you could fix that deal for five years. Do you really care if the market goes up or down? What you really should be caring about is are you making profit from the rent? Because if you're making profit from the rent, it's gonna come good anyway. The house price is gonna go up in value. Or, let me put this to you. What if you found a property that was worth 60,000 pounds, like I've just bought my most recent one. Sorry, I had a buck on me now. I don't really want a buck in Asia <laughs> landed on me for too long. Um, if you bought a property and say it was 60,000 pounds, right? And you just left it as it was, yeah, the price might go down, the market might go down. But what if you did something to that property and you added value to that property, right? Maybe you could add new bedrooms, refurbish it, add an extension, then that house price, regardless of what happens in the market, could go up. You can control that yourself. And that's what you've got to be looking at as a property investor. You've got to stop having excuses and stop saying, oh, the market might go up, the market might go down, it might go sideways, interest rates are going up. All of that's irrelevant. What's most important is, can you find a deal today? Does that deal stack? Can you add value to that deal? Is there an option to fix the interest rate so it doesn't matter whether the market goes up or down or the rates go up or down because you are gonna make a profit each and every month? That's what you've got to look at as a property investor. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think really holds people back? Comment below. Because I'm telling you what, my property investments, now, I obviously would like to grow them even more, but they have really saved my bacon a few times. I've had a business that's failed dramatically. My first business, I used to turn over two million pounds a year selling e-commerce stuff, selling iPod accessories. Ultimately, it failed about five years in. I was left with 50,000 pounds in debt, but it was property that got me out of that because I released some equity. I bought another property so I'd get more cash flow coming in. Paid off all the credit card debts. So I have 50,000 pounds in credit card debt, which is bad debt, right? So 50,000 pounds in credit card debt, you're gonna be paying a couple of grand a month. My business just failed. I was earning zero, nada. So by refinancing that property, I was able to pay those credit cards off and make those payments go down to something like 100 pounds a month, which is affordable, right? Really, really affordable. Suddenly I could breathe again. And having that property portfolio has helped me out tons and tons and tons of times. When I've done really well in business and I've wanted to invest in other stuff, really hard as a business owner to get investment, to get money, but it's very easy as a property investor to get money because people can lend against a real tangible asset that's predictable, that can go up and go down, but it's more likely to go up and so they're more likely to lend against that asset. That's really, really important here. So do let me know, what do you think? I think the biggest thing holding you back is yourself and what's in between those two ears. And if you can control that, you can just see property is an asset that will continue to go up. You will always do very, very good. Do check out all my other videos. If you're interested, they're not all gonna be in Thailand because I'm going home tomorrow. But there are a few other videos on Thailand. I've done one in a tuk-tuk. I've done one off the side of a building looking over the landscape of Bangkok. Do check out all the other content that we've made. Um, and as I said, we're on the journey to 100,000 views. You can help me with that by smashing that like button there right now. We're also trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. So smash the subscribe button, guys. Hit the bell notification. Check out all the other content on the channel, including this video right here. Bye for now.